uh, Luke 10 and verse 2. Our brother who spoke to us from Delta State Worry City arrived home on Tuesday because the Ndege Yetu, Kenya Airways, Irikata Kwenda, Hio Gioni, Yamande, Ikatoka Pa Tuesday Asubui. Lakini unajua ndege ikataa kwenda yenyewe ikatae. Sio wewe kucherewa. Kutoka hapa unakuwa ka bus. Unabebo na gali yao. Unapereko hoteli hiyo karibu na airport. Inaitua hiyo hile mzuri. Unaonaga eh? Eh, hiyo, hiyo. Eh, unaona wanyama kule. Hiyo. Ole usereni. Hiyo panari unaperekwa. Sa hiyo unakuwa mdostu. Na unaitua asubui. Time for breakfast. I love to know. Anakuchukua na gari yao. Anakurudisha kule. Kwa hivyo nilupo muliza. How did you survive? He said, Bishop, you don't understand my brother. From that moment, my brother, I became the, the, the star. They carried me. They took me and brought me back. My brother, now I'm in Lagos. That's what he told me. And then he said, can I speak to Alice? And they spoke with Alice. And he is so happy that he came. Bless the name of the Lord. Then he said to them, the harvest truly really is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. In this year of uncommon harvest, that verse I thought is good to start with by just to remind us that the harvest is great. Because it is great, therefore, then there is no need of struggling. We don't need to fight with you. There is space for all of us. The, the harvest is so plenteous, it's so great. And then the second thing which is also true, the laborers are few. So if you are one of them, praise God, you have a share. In this great year of uncommon harvest, we are saying there will be a harvest for all of us. All what we need is to prepare ourselves for that. And um, I like the story that Bishop gives. Bishop Mark gives a story about where he was born. He was born in a place called Elbagon. And you know, I like, stories are good because sometimes you look at someone and you think they were born in Mudaiga or in Nairobi, isn't it? But then every one of us has a village where we were born. Tell your neighbor the village. Don't mention Nakuru like I used to, the village. That's where you were born, eh? So my bishop was born in a place called El Bagon. And he says, when they would go to, and there were no mashambas, they would go to the forest, wanalima huko, kando kando ya barabara. And they will go and plant uh, waru's, you know? That's why they call it warupaga. They will go and plant waru along the roads and so on. And when they are going, they will carry chondos. You know, they, they, they will carry chondos to help their mother to go and uh, do the planting. But the time for harvest, he tells me, it was so amazing. The mother would tell them, go to so-and-so omba gunia. Go to so-and-so omba gunia. And you go to so-and-so wombe punda. And so and so wombe punda. So they, they will ask for a, a lot of pundas and gunias. Why? Because harvest time. Harvest time. Every time you go for harvest, what you harvest is more than what you planted. So they would call people to come and help them so that they can harvest. Hata kwetu, najua mimi kwetu siyo huko, kule kuko kwetu. Wakati wakutafuta mavuno, unaalika majirani, wakusaidie kuvuna, meshiri, wakusaidie kuvuna, maindi. Kwa sababu wakati wakuvuna, unakuwaga ni wakati ambao ni poa kabisa. Hata mtu wakivuna, hallelujah, kiondo yake inaendaga na kakitu. Bless the name of the Lord. And I'm praying that in the time of harvest, because it is coming. May you borrow pundas from your neighbors. You know, you know, I like the story in the Bible where uh, Peter goes for fishing, but he toils the whole night. He gets nothing. But Jesus comes and he says, oh, Peter, why don't you try and put this now on the other side? And Peter said, by the way, we have toiled the whole night, but your word. And this is what I'm praying that at this church will come to be people that will be known what one know. At your word. At what? At your word. He obeyed the word and he did it. And the Bible records. Hata aliwaita wengine wa msaidie. Kwa sababu the catch. When the catch comes. May it come so much. 
That hata neti zako zianze kuvunjika vunjika. You know I know some of you you are to net, you are to net eh, ni kwa sababu wewe unavunaga kamoja kamoja enda na neti kubwa because in this great year of uncommon harvest the Lord if you hear his word he is going just to ask us to put it on the right side because there is always a right side. And it is also true usidanganywe na mtu. There are some of us that are going to harvest maovu ambayo majirani utahitaji waje kukusaidia kwa sababu nao maovu ukianza kuvuna nayo yatakuwa maovu mengi kwa sababu upandacho mwambie jirani yako upandacho ndicho utakachovuna we started by asking ourselves not last week the other week what god god wewe unataka nini kutoka kwangu because god wants something from you isn't it then we said what god wants from me is me so to say my view what god wants from me is me the book of acts 20 and 35 says this i have shown you in every way by laboring like this that you must suppose the weak and remember the words of the lord jesus christ that he said it is more blessed to give, to, to, to give than to receive so today we are picking at the, the part b of that what does god wants from me in this year of uncommon harvest and what god wants from me is my possession he wants what i possess he wants it it is a his bless the name of the lord so the other week we talked about god wanting us we give god our person giving god our spirit giving god our soul giving god our body and we said now all that becomes an act of worship and we talked about being a living sacrifice living sacrifice ye hataki ngombe aliyechinjwa sasa anataka mtu ambaye yuko hai na mtu yuko hai oh my goodness when you are building with the living stones Hey na kuaga kali unawacha mawe umeweka hapa ukija kuiangalia hapa unakuta haiko because it is living but what why living is because now god wants you to do it in your own submission so that when where you have been placed by him he will not find you gone he wants to build with the living stones hatai kujenga na ngombe waliochinjwa anataka wewe na tukasema hivi kwa sababu wewe una damu na damu ina misisimko yake na anataka wewe uwe hai ukubali kupambana na misisimko yako lakini uwe dhabihu inayokubalika mikononi mwake Mungu Bwana Yesu apewe sifa so that we can be living and willing to give ourselves over to the will of God so that we can do the work that God has called us bless the name of the Lord so this Sunday this morning I want to continue by dealing with the next thing that God wants because God wants our possession he wants what i have god is interested in how i handle the things that he has given me he wants to know how do i handle the resources that he has given me in everything we do and i mean everything in everything we do everything we must always check our motives in everything that we do we go back and let's check our motives we must also after checking our motives we must also do some examination of our attitude what is my attitude like what is my attitude like it is important for me to exam examine my attitude and you know it is true that my heart will determine how far i can go with the things that i have believed in god but then i need to know there are some pleasures that come for a little while to deter me to take me away from what god has called me to do no wonder we said god wants me first he wants me to be the first before anything else he wants me to handle myself first now we are talking about possession and you know what some of us give out of being guilty we are guilty we are guilty so why do, how do we give we give because i have to give and sometimes pastors we are good at making sure you feel guilty yeah we pressure you yeah hey, yeah mnataka nikufe nja hapa na nyinyi ndio mtakufa kwanza you know you, you make people actually guilty kabisa so when they are giving they are giving because they are guilty 
But I've said since I started preaching here, I will never, ever preach a sermon here when the church has no money. I will never preach about giving when the church has no money. I want to speak to people so that I can bless them when there is nothing. You know, Ati angalia wengine vile mumekura vizuri hata leo la mtu wengine mumekura sausage na you know na mimi sijaona sausage kwa muda mrefu you know the whole idea is to try to make you feel guilty so some of us give because we have been made to feel guilty are you hearing what i'm saying so at your fact you are here and some of the people i saw a movie one long time ago and uh, the gangs of New York were the ones that were taking offering uh, that day. They were being asked by David Wilkerson to, to, to take the offering. These were the Mau Maus. The gang was called the Mau Maus after the Mau Maus of this country. So that Sunday, they collected the offering. Everybody gave because they would look at you with a hard face. And they would not move until you put in something. Now, I, I believe that our ushers don't do that. They don't wait until to talk yapa. There is no pressure. You give because you feel like you want to give. So let's not give because we are guilty. And I normally mean this. Actual fact, you can help your neighbor. If you find your neighbor giving and they are so bitter about the giving, whisper to them. Because actual fact, you are helping them. Hawatabarikiwa. Wataenda wakinungunika. Kwanza ikiwa ilikuwa ya maziwa na wameamini hawata kupata maziwa tena hata maziwa hawata pata. Kwa hivyo hiyo wiki itakuwa ngumu. Lakini kama anafurai anasema mbwana, mimi na kutolea kwa sao najua nikitoa kwako sina hasara. Huyo mtu anabubujika. Na hata weze jua ilikuwa ya mwisho. You know there are some here that when you look at them and may God bless you, keep smiling for Jesus. Tukitoka hapa wengine munasimamishu wa namtu na ulifutwa six months ago. Na unasimamishwa na mtu pale anakuambia sasa dada kile nilitaka unikopee ni 50 50 thou. Najua 50 thou. Zina, niko na mashida nyingi. Sasa watu wale ambao wanajua bwana hawasemi sina. Kwa sababu kusema una unajikodem. Anasema saa hii tunaongea saa hii. Saa hii saa hii. Hela hizo unataka siwezi kuwa nazo. Lakini nikapata muda. Na unajua muda unaweza kuwa mwaka moja, miaka <laughs> kapata muda nikapata muda nitakusaidia lakini saa hii wewe kwanza unataka saa hii si ungeniambia last week <laughs> let's not give because we are guilty let's not give because we are guilty some of us give also because of responsibility we don't give because we want to but oh every time us unajua sasa kama sitatoa what will happen i ought to give it is my duty now we give because it is our duty, because we are responsible. But even that one is not the giving that we are talking about. Why are you giving? Unajua nikata kupeana, Bishop naona ile gari yake ataendesha tena. It is my responsibility. That's all right. But it still is not what giving should all be all about. Some of us give because a need. I want to give because I see the need before me. Now, I want to give you the scenario here because I know a lot of you got saved. Before we, did, uh, the, 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 before we started the process of um, uh, uh, raising money for the cathedral, I told you one of the dangers that we have had in the church in the past. I come here and I say, we are building a cathedral. And then you say, need. You say what? Need. So you give all your tithe towards the cathedral. So Josephine gets the money. But Gashuru needs to pay salaries. In Gashuru's kitty, there's nothing. But you are faithful. Why? Because I'm the one who gave you a need. So I told you before we started collecting, please, if you are giving for the cathedral, remember, we still have salaries to pay. So that we are building a cathedral and we are not saying by the time the cathedral is finished, shikuku watoto wako wata kura kitu, mpaka cathedral ishe. Si tutakufa jameni. Angalia hata hatuja chimba mitaro. Kwa hivyo tukasema, sio tu haja. When a haja comes, we will. But you, do, you want to give because you can see a need. Somebody has brought you a need. But can you give more than just seeing a need? Maybe that is the appeal that I'm bringing to you. My possession belongs to God. Thanksgiving. Now this is good. 
He has done so much for me. Why not? Why can't I give? And those are people actually, they are so rough in their giving. Niondoke. Nataka kutoa. Na huyo hata hajali. Kuna wakristo kama wa hapa hajali. Unaenda kanisa kesho. Kuna wengine hapa umekula pesa umepewa uleta kanisani. Sitai kusema. Lakini hiko. Kwa sababu kuna dada alikuwa siwe ni mshirika wa kanisa letu. Mimi sitai kula tithe hii. Nataka ulimpeleke. Sitaonekana Sunday. There are some of you that are like that. You are so good pastor. Can I impress you? Yaani wewe unatafuta he has blessed me. I have to bless. I like that. Bless the name of the Lord. But that is also not the best of the stage. The best of the stage is worship. I will honor God. And therefore, I will bring him glory by giving. I will release myself and give. C.S. Lewis is a famous Christian author. And he said this, I don't believe, I don't believe one can settle how much we ought to give. I'm afraid the only safe rule is to give more than we can spare. Because, you know, some of us want to give God 22 shillings, 78 cents. So because when it's not eight, you give 75, una copper three, so that next time you'll give 23. And then you feel so comfortable. Now I ask, if we are going to be faithful and give tithe faithfully, then, listen to me. Kama umeripiwa nauli na mtu. Hiyo ni gift. I'm saying this because the Kenya government uses the Bible to tax us. And they say, whatever other source of income. You know, Last Sunday I discovered, can I tell you what I discovered? I discovered I needed to pay 30% tax for using KBP 039B because it is a benefit. You hear the auditor, how the auditor said quickly? It is a benefit. Now I'm wondering, what is the best way I'm thinking, what is the best way? Maybe the best way ni iwe ikirara hapa. Nikitumia na iwacha hapa. Naenda nyumbani migu. Ama na muomba kevira. Tafadhali kevira na kuzini na kuomba. Ufanya hivi, unidrop urudi na iwacha hapa. Because when the KRA people will come here, they went to one of our churches. They were looking for employees that don't pay NSSF. So they just walk in and they say, do you work here? You say, yes. And you? Yes. So, and what is your name? And you? So they picked a few people at random. Then they went to the office, said, can I have a file of so-and-so? And so-and-so? And so-and-so. And, -so? and then they say, you don't pay NSSF for this one? You don't pay NSSF for this one? So that church of ours was in real, real trouble. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. Jamaa mflani, ulikuwa uende lunch. Na ulikuwa na mia yako umeshika hivi. I love jamaa mungine na hitu wakashuru na kuona na kuambia, can I buy you lunch? Now as far as God is concerned, that is an income. And actual fact, somebody told us some of us have so much money, but we waste without knowing. Every income, you should be a plus in your income. So that you can start saving. Nisiniwe na kusaidia tu, na misi accountant. Wegini umepewa mia, inaisha tu ataujui ulikuwa umepewa. Instead of adding it into your income so that you can save 200 instead of 100. Wegini ni kushanga tu. Hii mwezi na shanga. Nisitumia pesa badu ninaona kuna mia moja. C.S. Lewis says, if you want to give well, Right? Give more. Wacha kupimia mungu, ata ya kupimi. Unajua, ukikaa mwaka mwaja bila kukojeka, tafadhali. Kwa teka madhabahu, lete sadaka ya shukurani. Jameni, unajua ni how much? Sini nikuambia mze mwaja litumia milioni miaine. Ugonjwa. Milioni mia? 
lakini yako na pesa nyingi huyo hata hakustuka hata moyo hujapiga hakusweti mikono eh eh tumbe lakini hakufurahi sana let's be faithful to the lord giving is not a matter of seeing i'll give from what is left over giving is about trusting god and taking him at his word giving is an act of faith it is an act of worship many people have a lot of ideas about giving but there is one proven method given to us in scripture that never fails to bring the blessings of the lord into our lives and that is tithing tithing is god economic plan to grow his kingdom and to support the work of his ministry that is very very important bless the name of king jesus there is some reward paul tells us in second corinthians and this is something i wanted to carry along with you 8 verse 7 that we are to excel in some things he says this but just as you excel in everything in other words he says as you excel in everything in faith in speech in knowledge in complete and en en earnestness and in your love for us i like that if you stop it there he's saying you should excel in your faith amen and in this year of uncommon harvest even your speech maongeo yako amen your speech should also excel should be better than last year in knowledge in complete earnestness and in your love for us but then he says see that you also excel in this grace of giving it is a grace giving is a grace amen giving is a grace the lord wants us to excel in faith knowledge speech but he also wants us to excel in our giving something that must first be grasped when we are checking our motives is about giving god is only asking us to share what he has already given us suppose i asked can somebody in this church give me 20000 now can somebody give me 20000 now you want to give me 20000 my goodness this guy gives me 20000 just like that woo ata si hesabu Where are you? Where are you? I thought you would also give me 20,000. Let me give you a little illustration here. I know you have had children and your children are all, not always big. Sawa. I know you have gone to buy them chips when chips was chips. Chips was chips. And then you have bought them chips and sausage. And you have sat somewhere to eat. But the fathers and the mothers are not eating chips and sausage. They are the children, they have bought chips and sausage and a Coke. And the one who has bought it is the father. He's the one who has brought them for his three children. And then he puts it before them. And then he stretches his hand to pick a chip from one of the plates. And the son gets hold of daddy's hands and says, daddy, those are my chips. <laughs> I don't know whether it has dawned on you for the first time, the scripture that we have read, what happens? Because God is the one who gives us, but giving him back, we say, hold on. God, man, this is mine. And then it dawns on you that the person who bought the chips is you. The person who have changed from the chips is you. The person who can buy more chips is you. The person who can buy more sausages is you. And your son tells you, Daddy, please excuse me. This is my chips. Okay, let me take you a little further. Then, your child, your children, wamekula. Na kwa ni wandogo wanashiba. And then you ask them, what do we do with these chips? We carry home. So everybody anafungiwa yake. Wanaenda nao nyumbani. Wanalala, ni wadogo. Tawakusema ni wadogo. 
ukiingia kwa gari ule mmoja alikuwa tu 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 ya samerara huyo mwingine wa 3 and half amerara na wa 5 amerara kwa sababu ni kujaza ulimwengu wako mapema alafu mnafika nyumbani wanaamuka wanaamuka kana namna gani chipsi yangu Why was it easy for Gashuru to give me 20,000? Can I ask him? Do you want to know? Gashuru, why was it so easy for you to give me 20,000? There is a mic there. I would like to connect with that moment of giving. He wants to connect with that moment of giving. Isn't it? He wants to connect with that give, uh, moment of giving. But that is a spiritual side. I had given him the 20. So it was easy for him to give it back to me. Because it costs him nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When God is asking us to give, we should give like Ashuru did. Why? It is costing us nothing. I know some of you are wondering, Ashuru, 20 thou like this. What a man! But that's what God wants to say. He wants to say, Jimmy, what a man! You can give 20 just like this without a sweat. Because he wasn't sweating. Did he sweat? He was no nothing. Oh, he just said, me, and just poop. Initially, I thought he would be beaten by someone. But I discovered nobody else had received 20 from me. Therefore, you started calculating. Some of you started calculating. Nikimpa 20. Ninaweza mpa. Actually, marafiki zangu ni wengi sana. Kuna wengi wangetoa. Kwanza ningewambia ni kona shida sahi. Ningeapewa. Lakini hesabu inaanza. 20. Nionge na mama kwanza. Ama nifu. 20. And that's why I had told him. Asikae sana. Atoa upesi. Ili ya to save the struggle. God wants us to give that way. That's the way we should give. Amen. Because he has given it to us. It belongs to him. When your daddy wants the chips, release it. Because he can buy you more. I, you are not getting it. You know, when I travel with my, when my children were younger, and I would travel with them, and I've given them some 20 shillings, and I need 20 to pay the, the whatever, the meter in town. I would ask them, and they would give it back to me, because they know where the 20 had come from. There was still some more. Do you know God has more for you? Where the, the 20,000 he gave you last night, he still has more. So when he's asking you for 2,000, it's because he can give you more. He has more. He wants my possession. He wants all that I have. Are we taking God at his word? Because that is the question. Consider the following scriptures. Acts 20, 35, where we have read, I've shown you in every way. By laboring like this that you must support the weak and remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ who said it is more blessed to give than to receive. If we believe the word of God, then we'll be giving because it is blessed to give than to receive. When was the last time you were blessed by giving something away? The real question here is, do we really believe Jesus when he says it is more blessed to give than to receive? Because when we do, then we receive. And there are many miracles here of people who gave what they were holding for God to give some, something that they did not have. I've heard of testimony of someone who looked at someone and they saw there was need and they gave the only thousand they had. And before long they had another ten. Because God knows how to bless his own people. Or maybe some of you don't see it as a miracle. You see it as like your sharpness. Me, I'm so sharp. You know I'm a good salesperson. Hmm? Because you give a thousand and then you meet somebody who pays you a debt. Do you know who triggered for the money to be released to you? It is that seed that you planted and you give someone. Because it commanded everybody who owes you something to look for you and pay you. Amen. So learn to, to give. Learn to give. 
Joshua 1 and verse 8, it says, Do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. Bless the name of the Lord. What does God say we must do to become prosperous and successful? He says to do everything that is written in the word of God. When we obey the word of God, it is always sure that God is going to prosper us. Do we really believe that? That is the question that we are addressing ourselves today. In this year of uncommon harvest, our giving must also be uncommon. In actual fact, I read somewhere, if we want the church to be revived, it has to be revival in every part, starting with our pockets. You know, if we don't get revived in our pockets, the cathedral we cannot build. The people we want to reach cannot come. So revival. Tell your neighbor revival. Atam fukowako. Revival. Because when I'm revived in my pocket, I walk like a revived person. I remember somebody, uh, you know, we went witnessing and somebody was told, Yo kanisayani suwezi kuja ni ya masonko. Ni ya masonko. Na ya uwe lekuwa kiwitini za kazama sasa wewe kama minge kuwa wewe. Iyo chachi ya masonko ndiyo nigeenda na mimi niwe so? Sonko. Akasama ni taokoka, akaombewa, akaokoka, akaja, kanisa ya maso. May the Lord make you sonko also. But the secret of becoming sonko is releasing all that I have. Bless the name of the Lord. The people who know the beginning of this church, they normally say, Hey, Bishop, kakanisa kako kalikuwa kadogo. Yes, kalikuwa kadogo. Sasa nikikubwa, eh? Sasa nikikubwa. Nabado. We want to be faithful. Bless the name of the Lord. In Malachi, now this is the verse that uh, many people don't like reading. Because hii kitu hata ikuitagi muizi na kuita wa mabavu. Oh man, this, 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 this verse we read it and we are careful. Kwa za mtu wanaeza, oh bishop, mmeita muizi wa mabavu. Sio mimi ni neno. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offering. You are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me even this whole nation. Now that verse is, is a very powerful verse. We are robbing God when we fail to give our tithe. When we fail to give our tithe that God has given us. Every time we don't pay, because it is a payment. It's like paying our, our tithe. I want you to notice one phrase in this passage of scripture. And that is, try me. Let's read the next verse. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and try me. I like that. Try me. Tell your neighbor, try God. You see, it is good to try God, and he's the one who says, try me. Try me. Bless the name of the Lord. Try me, says the Lord. And how do we try him? How do we try him? Let's allow our sisters and some of the nurses and the doctors that we have attend to our sister. Bless the name of the Lord. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood, precious blood of the Lamb, of the Lamb. There is power. Mighty God, you've been a healer and everywhere went, you did good. You can minister your healing uh, virtues now. The healing balm of Gilead from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. May, have, may she feel the strength that comes from the throne of God. And come on healing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Try me. This simply means try me or examine me or try to prove me. That's what it simply says. You are trying him. We want to examine him. We want to prove him. The Lord is saying, I had, go ahead and give your tithe and offering and see if I will not pour out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive it. Go ahead. It's like God is, God is saying, I want to put myself now into a test and see if I will not be faithful. That's what he's saying. Try me and see whether I will not be. It's like telling your child, Watch a lily sausage, you want to come as well as you could read a tattoo. Because there is no sweat in my pocket, I can buy you three. I can buy you what? Three. 
But sometimes our concept is a little bit different. And sometimes some of the stories I've, I cannot share them now because Mungai is in the house. <laughs> but can I share one, Mungai? Thank you, thank you. Mungai is shaking. Now one time I'm buying Mungai and Nyambura shoes and buy each one of two pairs. Amen. Two pair? Two pairs. And I thought they would tell you, Daddy, you are a great daddy. Two pairs? Fantastic. But when I finished buying, the mood was bad. And I think Nyambura asked, Sasa, chips is it happy? <laughs> I said, and I started pleading with them, Tafadhali, Jamenini, Simkubali ni mwanulia vya tubiri, kila mtu biri. She answered, E, mtu anaweza kula. One of the things they were telling me which I decoded was wherever the money for the shoe came, you can have. But do, do, no, hear the argument. <laughs> of course I didn't, but I still bought what? Chips. What I'm saying is where God has given us, he still have some more. All what we need is to receive that blessing and say more please. Niongeze Tafadhali, you need to be a saucer. Niongeze choma. Bless the name of the Lord. That's what we are saying. That where God is. Thank you, Mungai, for allowing me to hit that one. But that that was a long time ago. I think you were two or something or three, <laughs> a long time ago. Maybe he might not even remember the story. It's only me who remembers the story. But what I'm saying is that when we God gives us, Hanashida. Amen. Unajua nikikupa mia moja saa hii. Utaogopa kuniomba mia ingine kesho. Ni kweli? Kwa sababu unajua nita kuambia korame mire. But when I go back to God, even for more, he has no problem whatsoever. Bless the name of King Jesus. Try me. Prove me. Can't you prove God in this year of uncommon harvest that we are going to give him our possession. We are going to give him everything that we have. All that I am and all that I have, like we normally say when we come to wedding, and I don't know whether they mean it. And I tell them, Rudia ima ombi nyuma ya, Rudia ima semo, umwabie dada huyu, dada na kupeda sana. Kire chota niko nacho ni chako, kiri ambacho nitakuwa nacho ni chako, nitashirikia na nawewe, na wakitoka pale ATM, inaweko kwa mfuko hii, haujui namba, ata pini hujui, huelewe mambe, you know, not that kind of a thing. We want to prove God. Everything that God has, he wants to release it to me. Hallelujah. You have tried every other way of saving money and it only seems to slip through your hands. So why not try to honor God? We honor him. Proverbs 3, 9, honor the Lord with your possessions or wealth and with the first fruits of your increase. So your, your buns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with the new ones. The word honor means to be heavy. Are we weighing God down with our tithe and offering? But there is an, an important question here that we need to ask ourselves. Am I giving God my leftovers or am I giving God the first fruits? Leftovers is when I start calculating and I don't know. Me, I, me, I, me, I think I'm, I'm wealthy. That's what I tell myself. Me, I'm rich. But can I tell you something? Every time I start Iyo jia igine. Kwa za nasema, buwana, wacha kwanza nilipe madeni yangu. Arafu, badai. I've always discovered I don't have enough. Actually, I don't. So I've discovered for the last couple of years, maybe five or six years, I don't wait that way myself. I first don't want to know how much. Once I'm told by the kaslip, you know the kaslip that you get from your employer, that pesa yako imeekwa kwa benki. That day, kwanza natoa tithe, and I don't know how God works. From there, I survive. I survive. But I honor him fast. I honor him with my fast fruit. Let's not give the Lord leftover because there will be nothing left. There will be nothing left. You try it. Sini, mwezi meanza. Kachini, esabu. Utakuta, ay, 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 na, eh, ay, 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 na, ah, eh, God. Hata mungu wana understand. That's the kind of prayer that we pray, oh God. Hata unaeza uliza pastor. Pastor, si mungu wana elewaga. Nae pastor ni binadama wakombia ya naelewaga tu. 
kwa sababu hata alijua kabla hujakuja kumuuliza kama anaelewa but he also knows he can bless you and prosper you if we honor him honoring him Luke 6:38 this is the word of, of the Lord that Paul was quoting for us he says given it will be given to you good measure pressed down shaken together running over will be put into your bosom for with the same measure that you use it will be measured back to you does tithing apply to me maybe that is another question that we can ask ourselves does it apply to me how much of a blessing do you want in your life and the question is i want more i want more i want more we want more of his blessing yes we want more we want more we want more but then the question is how much do we give to him and we want more so tithing applies to me and why do i believe it applies to me because in the book of acts 2 and verse 44 a scripture comes into mind this is the first believers they have met together now they have started going around preaching and witnessing but the first thing they discovered is that the wealth that they had belonged to god no wonder they sold all that they had and they shared all things in common they sold all that they had and shared in common they brought it for in the apostles feed and you know there are some who lied out and why i believe the word of god is so good is this when ananias and sapphira came and they they died the question that uh, peter is asking them is simple wewe we, kwa nini unadanganya roho I, i mean the question was kwa nini unadanganya si unanielewa the question is why are you lying to the holy spirit when the shamba was not sold was it not yours and i think the answer here it was mine then when you sold it was the money not yours and the guy says is mine then the question is why are you lying to the holy spirit and the and the guy could not get it because he had convinced himself and convinced the wife that tukienda tumeuza hivi unasikia tumeuza hivi why are we fooling god we would have said i'm selling to give a portion and danania and safira would not have died can i speak to someone here don't lie to the holy spirit be open to the holy spirit because when it was yours it has always been yours but don't pretend oh this is tithe it is not call it anything else because some of us actually they block ourselves for blessing ni kama kuchukua kufuri eh hii kufuri ya kanyeruo alafu una unakanyera na unatupa fuguo wewe mwenyewe ndio umejifunga i know god can open it for you but why lie to the holy spirit so i like that scripture that we need to know it is mine amen it is mine like that child would say the chips is mine the sausage is mine oh daddy you know we call them daddy daddy si nipatie kama moja hapana and then after a while katoto kana maliz kana jiba alafu na kauza what do we do with the chips daddy funga to bebe so you carry katoto kana lala mukifika zima man kutoka chips yangu and you and me know the chips hiyo si kwamba ni tamu unajua hasara zake lakini <laughs> chips watoto wetu na chips si tuwapikie angalau tuwapikie nyumbani I, I, mafuta inaweza kuwa safi kidogo oh sorry Yon. They were so changed by the power of God that everything they had they gave it to the apostles feet. Tithing shows an attitude of gratitude for the Lord. When we give a tithe or a tenth of all that I have, I'm telling God in this year of uncommon harvest, I want to give my all to you. Even that which is left is still yours. Bless the name of the Lord. As soon as the commandment was created the children of Israel brought in abundance the first fruits of grain and wine oil and honey and all the produce of the field and they brought in abundance the tithe of everything second chronicles that 15 proverbs 39 again honor the lord with your possession and with all the first fruits of your increase so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats overflow with the new wine i want to finish by saying this where your treasure is there your heart will be also one man said this about this uh, scripture he says where your pleasure is where your pleasure is there your treasure 
Where your treasure is, there is your heart. And where your heart is, there is your happiness. In other words, your pleasure, your treasure, your treasure, your heart, your heart, your happiness. Bless the name of the Lord. And you know, there is even a question that some of you ask. Bishop, where should I give my tithe? Because some of you tithe even to the Mokorino that is on the road preaching. Nampa tithe yangu is a man of God. You tithe it in the storehouse. And your storehouse is this one. There is a preacher in the TV, Bishop. I like him. He has taught me to tithe in his ministry. Now that is not called tithe. That is called support. That you are supporting their ministry. But for your tithe, don't debate about it. Don't ask that question. Bishop, where should I tithe? No. There is no debate about it. Tithe in your storehouse so that there will be plenty in the storehouse in the storehouse what can I really expect as I give God my possession I can say this with all the confidence that a man of God should have when you tithe the Lord will pour upon your life his blessings because God not only promises financial blessing because now that is where the catch is some people have said, you give a dollar, God gives you a dollar. But I normally say no. You give a dollar, God gives you a dollar, and he affirms his dollar by protecting your dollar. I don't know whether you got it. You know, God can bless me by making sure the whole of the year 2014 I don't see a doctor with my eyes. Yeah. Am I not rich? I am. God might open a door for my children for work. So that one year, I'm not giving them the bus fare to go looking for jobs. Am I not rich? So there are so many things that you can sit down and see that God has blessed you. Not only finances, but I know he can bless you financially by protecting your dollars. So that your shilling is only used for the necessary things. We bless the name of King Jesus. You'll be surprised if we do the average of giving in this church. If we took everybody, the 4,000 plus or who come in shifts. Amen. The average could be one 0.5% of your income. Look at your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, are you one of them? 1.5? Or maybe the question would have been, when is the last time that you gave tithe? Uh, even talking now becomes a bit quiet. Uh, we don't want people to hear this. <laughs> when is the last time you gave tithe? But we can say in this year of uncommon harvest. Amen. In this year of uncommon what? Harvest. Make use of our envelopes. Tell your neighbor, make use of your, the envelopes. And I want to say again here. I know kuna watu wapa wameokoka ili ya kuokoka. Ataki mkono hii, ijue hii imeenda na mnagani. Kuna watu wameokoka sana. Ukempatia envelope handiki. Anaandika anunun. So when I'm praying, I, there are people I pray unknown. You know that prayer does not go anywhere. It's like sending money in without proper, re, you haven't written the check properly. The bank will receive that money. They will put it somewhere, but they will not give anybody because it doesn't belong to anybody. Or a circle. There are so many circles that have suspense account with a lot of money. Why? Because you never filled your details properly. Sasa kuna maombi. Nimeombea aninun. Aninun. And you know, me, Mr. Kujurikana. Kama unajijua wewe. Wewe, sir. Umejijua? 
umekuwa aninuni tena namna gani na Mungu naye anakujua uko aninuni namna gani so please let's in this year of uncommon harvest let's make use of the envelopes right write the details let's believe god so that as i pray for you i will have a few unknowns it's like coming here for prayer oh niombe unspoken sasa unspoken nikiomba unspoken hiyo ndio inaendaga unspoken basket na unspoken hakuna kitu inaitwa unspoken na mimi sio mlaika ama ministry team yenu mnakuwa malaika eh mtu akikwambia unspoken unamwambia nimeona ni financial nimeona 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 hakuna hiyo inaingia unspoken but in this year of uncommon harvest let's speak it out let's write it out let's be faithful let's move from 1.5 to 8 to 10 to above 10 let's support the work of god and we'll be blessed we will be blessed and what i can say for sure those that have tried him they have seen him to be faithful no wonder they still do it more and more and more and more father in the mighty name of jesus two sundays ago you wanted our lives You wanted us to be living sacrifice. You wanted us to shun the wrong, the evil and live and do the right. And dear father, it is because there there is a blessing that dear father we can find when we become the living sacrifice. But today you are also asking that we give ourselves to you also in terms of our possession, the things that we have. We want to surrender our riches, we want to surrender our wealth. We want to surrender our knowledge. We want to surrender everything that you have given us to you. Lord God, indeed, some of us have property. We want to pray dear Father in our giving today, in the tithe that we give today, in the offering that we give today, may it release a cover to protect our properties and those that we love. Heavenly Father, in our giving today, I want to release a blessing upon your people that heavenly Father they will have more than enough. when they release heavenly father through the front door may they find you holding their blessing through the back doors and the windows because you tell us to try you if you're not going to open windows and doors of heaven to shower us with your blessing i want to thank you that mighty god this year of uncommon harvest we are also going to give uncommon gifts to you we are going to give uncommon tithes to you our giving will be different because we are moving from where we are to where you want us to be in the mighty name of Jesus to you be honor to you be praise for this we ask in Jesus name let's give the lord praise in the house shall we amen thank you let's appreciate uh